Catherine with the Chatters. Today, we are gonna go get some rabbits. You guys excited? Yes. Yes. If we find some. It's always a bummer when you go out here and you don't find anything. Um, yes, sir? Oh, I'm just saying I love rabbits. It's one of the only things I can get out in the woods that tastes like chicken. Most things taste like red meat. So rabbits are kind of special to me. Um, yeah, so, uh, you guys ready to go get something to eat? Let's do it. Woo! So we saw these hills here, and we think they look interesting because, to me, the rabbits hang out in the cedars, but I think, uh, where the base of the hill is, that transition area might be really good. There's a rabbit right there. Boom, right there. No. Sorry. Can we shoot higher with it? Just shoot the rabbit. That was a whap. Yes. Yeah, you did. Shoot again. I'm going to go ahead and do a finishing shot. No, I, no, I can do this. Do I think Fern can do it. Daddy, I can do this. Okay, I know how to shoot a pole. There's a top shot. Daddy. I can see him right there. Oh, I don't see him. I don't see him. He's right there, honey. He looks like a rock. Okay. Nice. Um, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go get him. Okay, I'm going to do a finishing shot. Okay, that's fine. Because we're, you know, we're not going to lose him because we're trying to be too prideful. Yeah, let's just take him back and let Daddy do his thing. Did I get him twice? Yes, you did. Bueno? Got him. Okay. Let's uh let's get him and then let's get another one because one's not enough for all of us to eat. What? Let's get another one because one's not enough for all of us to eat. You want to carry the rabbit? You want to carry the rabbit? I can carry the rabbit. Get out of camera. Wait, can you show it to the camera? You wanna get a picture of the the shooter? Oh. With the rabbit? You did good, babe. It's still warm. All right, who's who's <laughs> shooting the next one? Uh, Mommy can. I, you why can. don't you get one? Because you were really wanting to shoot the last time. Okay. So why don't you get did one? Did you shoot the next one? We'd like to get two because uh, we're trying to get enough for a lunch, and probably a half a rabbit is enough for each person. And we got four people, so we need to get two rabbits. All right, let's do it. Let's see if we can find another one. Ooh, maybe it's all right. I can hold it, Mommy. Go for it. He's warm, so he kind of keeps his hand warm. I was thinking his feet were a little chilly, actually. Really? Oh my god, mommy, they're all over me right now. Get them off, please. Get them Just, off. Just, no, get them off yourself. You're a big girl. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna... There's one on your thumb, still. Are they off? Yeah, just had a little run in with these. Please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a Yeah, 
just stop the it every couple of minutes. <laughs> It's looking like we might only get the one. Yeah, let's continue to look until we get back to the truck. So anyway, we ended up with one rabbit. Can we see that rabbit? Um, it's a nice size one. It's pretty good. Um, we were hoping to get two, but it just didn't happen this morning. And prime time's kind of over. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go home and um, butcher that guy up. Hopefully we'll get a nice lunch out of it. Okay, so we only got one rabbit. Um, we just had a little bit of time to go out and it would have been nice to get two, but uh, one will be enough. We'll just make a side dish to go with the lunch we're gonna have and it'll work. Uh, so we basically have a knife, a sharpener, and just a bowl of water to put the meat in. And then because it's still early in the morning, uh, we got coffee. So, I used to always skin small game, like rabbits, just like I would a deer. I'd start here, go up each leg, and then I'd basically hang it up and unskin it. And that worked good, but it took some time. And then a buddy of mine, uh, he taught me a trick on small games such as rabbits and squirrels you can basically pinch the skin in the back here and so you want just the skin not the meat and then you can make an incision like that and get your fingers on both sides like that and you're basically gonna pull it apart and it's almost like you're taking off two pairs of pants I'll show you what I mean Of ways you can cook a rabbit you could uh, gut it and cook the whole thing in a crock pot or in a roaster pan um, but we like to part our rabbit out and then we're gonna cook it in a frying pan like chicken So we are ready to start cooking the rabbit. Um, Aaron did an awesome job cleaning the rabbit. Uh, we've got quite a few legs. They're in good shape. And we got some back straps, which um, look real nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and drain this a little bit. And we are gonna keep it simple this time. We're not gonna do any crazy coating. We're gonna just do some seasonings. I am gonna get a little bit of oil in my pan. Cause it's nice if you're not fighting with them as they stick to a cast iron. But just enough to coat the bottom. I'm not looking to deep fry these dudes. I'm gonna use, you know, medium-ish heat. That's kind of what I cook everything at. Um, just a good rule of thumb. And also, you can always turn it down and turn it up if you need to. So I'm going to grab my rabbit legs and back straps. 
And something that I like to do, because I don't use a lot of oil, is I actually like to put the leg in there and then flip it. So it's actually getting a little bit of oil on the one side that isn't going to see it for quite a few minutes. And that way I don't have to use as much oil and the side that went down first doesn't soak up all the oil. Spin action. Get there. And I do have quite hot but that's okay they're gonna slowly start to sizzle Ooh, I can hear them. do some Lowry's can't go wrong this is actually a special blend of pepper um, a friend of ours makes it and definitely some garlic powder and I will end up seasoning a little bit more on the other side Something that I found, you can't have enough garlic powder. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to cook those for probably four minutes on each side. Some of these bigger ones, we might even have to go five. And then we'll flip them, do the same, and then we're going to eat them. So they should be pretty good. So here we go. All right, so some of the smaller pieces are done. And I don't want them to burn or get dried out, so I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. Um, and it took about four minutes on each side. Here's the back straps, they're nice and curled. And then these guys, these are the rear legs. They're much larger. Um, I'm gonna flip them again. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw a lid on top of these ones in order to let them kind of steam a little bit because they are, they are very thick. And around that bone, it takes a little bit longer, so. We're going to let those cook for another four minutes, and then we'll be able to try them out. Let's eat! All right, here we go. We'll see if it tastes good. Mm. My only regret is that rabbits aren't as big as buffalo. What do you think? Yeah, it tastes just like chicken. And so juicy and delicious. I love it. Next time on Hunt and Gather with the Chatters. When we go get something to eat.